So welcome back to another episode of Roots Unearthed. We have some real progress this week. For all of you that are new to our channel, we are building a farmhouse that's inspired by the Four Gables farmhouse. Well, let's uh, take a walk through. Bitty bin bins. This is our entrance right now. Crossing the moat. Penny hasn't quite figured it out yet. Come in! Oh, oh. oh no. All right, next time, Penny. All right, give us the, the tour. Well, we're in the foyer. We decided that we didn't want a grand foyer. We're not building a grand house. It's going to be functional. It's going to be humble. It's going to be farmhouse. So um, they don't have the stairs in yet, but as you walk in, you'll have your stairs to the left, which will lead to the upper level. Um, and then over here, we'll have um, some built-in cubbies for coats and shoes and hats. The powder room, which is in here. Watch your head. And then to the left here, we have Nathan's office, since he will be working from home. Plenty okay. of space in there. We're thinking about doing some built-in bookshelves, um, maybe a built-in desk. And then we have a little closet over here. Okay. We are missing a couple walls um, due to the fact that the stairs aren't in. And then we are also doing a custom built in um, curved wall over here, which will also have some shelves. So that has not been built yet. But over here to the right um, will be the kitchen. So we will have our refrigerator. And we decided that we absolutely despise counter depth fridges. You can't put much in them. So we actually built the house to accommodate a full size refrigerator um, to look counter depth. So as you can see, the wall kind of sets in about six inches deep to accommodate a full size fridge. So fridge, we'll have some cabinetry here. We will have the range with the range hood and then another cabinet stack over here. Um, this room over here will be a pocket door leading into our pantry. Um, this was a must have for us because we are a family who cans and preserves food from our gardens. So we will need tons of storage space for all of the food. So adjacent to the pantry will be the other side of our kitchen where we'll have some countertops, our farmhouse sink and countertops. Um, right now you can't see because the tie par is over it, but this will look out over the gardens, the chicken coops, and the kids' play area because um, this is probably where I'll be most of my day. Um, so I'll be able to see everything that's going on out on the farm. And then in this space right here will be our island. We're planning at least an eight-foot, maybe nine-foot island, um, depending on how 
just how the space pans out. Um, we need a really big island for homeschooling and for all the cooking and, and kitchen stuff that we do in this house. So um, the kitchen island is a must. And then over here, we'll get to the dining area, which will have a table that will comfortably seat six. Um, and we really loved this space because it opens into the living room. So when we host large gatherings and need to expand the table by putting leaves in it to accommodate eight or 10, we'll be able to kind of move out this way. Okay, to my right, we have the mud room. This room was really important for us because our kids are muddy. We live on a farm, we have no grass, we just have Carolina clay. So everyone comes in muddy. So this room was really important. We will have a sink, some cubby spaces for the kids to put their coats and their shoes. Um, this is also where our dog will hang out um, when she comes in full of mud as well so she doesn't trek it through the house. This space will also have a pocket door that will open and shut depending on what our needs are. So the room over here will be our living space. Um, we have a fireplace with built-ins on either side and then we will have triple, win triple window looking over our sheep pasture. The pasture is slowly filling in. I'm thinking by next spring, it should be ready to go. And you can also see our, the beginnings of our deck out here. We have the pillars that will hold it up. So the door from the mudroom will lead out to the deck as well as the door that is adjacent to the fireplace. Um, that will also lead out to the deck. We will have a real wood burning fireplace in this house to hopefully provide most of our heat during the winter time. So we added this extra door here um, for easy access to all of the logs and the, the kindling for the fire. Mm. Where to next? Well, we can go around this way. There will be a door put here for the laundry room, which is not the biggest space, but for me, a huge laundry room wasn't that important. Um, the most important thing for me was actually the laundry chute. <laughs> we are going all old fashioned here and the laundry chute will be in this space connecting up to the common area upstairs so all the girls can throw their clothes down and we can get laundry done without having to trudge up and down the stairs. Okay, this will be the master bedroom. The bed will be positioned between the two windows. We have the walk-in closet here. Okay, we will have a double door entry here to the master bath. Double vanity in this alcove here. This will be the walk-in shower, which will be here. This will actually be turned into a half wall with a niche for soaps and shampoos and stuff. I really don't want them on display, so they'll be kind of tucked away here. Okay, we have the linen closet in here. And then lastly, the, what do they call these, toilet rooms? Yeah. Water closet. A separate, separate little space for just the toilet. And that's about it for the first floor, right? That's, that's pretty much it for the first floor. We really tried to be like concise and with all of our space, have it really be functional and useful. I didn't want to be cleaning any spaces that I wasn't using. <laughs> that was my biggest gripe in our last house. All this extra space to clean that I wasn't using each day. So we're gonna do a little update on the land here. Um, as you know, in last episode, we were planting some grass and I'm very happy to say that it is starting to sprout. So grass is coming. New grass is coming. Hey, guess what else is growing? Fall crops. Yay. What do you got growing? Beets. Oh yeah. Lima beans, pole beans. I've had a whole bunch of potatoes sprout back up that I've harvested a couple months ago. Um, we have parsnips, 
We have kohlrabi. We have peas. We have more cucumbers. We'll see if we have enough time for them to give me some fruit. We have tomatoes that are still going strong and peppers that are still going strong and basil that's just super happy. We have some eggplants still. Hmm. We have lettuce. What are lettuce. you over here? This I just planted yesterday. So this is just lettuce, arugula, and some parsley. I'm not sure if you can plant parsley in the fall, but I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll I had a bag out. of seeds. And then over here are peas, cucumbers, and I might try some cabbage. I'm not sure. We'll see. Hmm. Do you like some sauerkraut? And we are hopefully going to be getting eggs Yes. Any day now? Our chickens are like 18 and a half weeks. So on average, I think they say 20 weeks for eggs. So I've been giving them pep talks each morning. Not sure if it works or not, but you can hear those ducks. The chickens are getting pretty big. They are. Here, chicken, 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 chicken! I think they're like plotting against us. Look at they're having like a meeting. Hmm. Well, it's against the ducks. Watch the fence. It's probably on. Hey, Dino, where's your, do your rooster thing? Do your rooster thing? He is big. Man, those ducks are annoying. Here's Thanksgiving dinner and Christmas dinner. I don't know. Just Daffy. He's Just he's got to go. Daffy's the one with the white collar Daffy's who's looking at me. Huge. Yes, he's a male. Well, I think we're gonna keep the other two because they're females. Um. We'll try some duck eggs and see if we like him. Hmm. But Daffy's also kind of a jerk, so he's huge. Looks tasty. He does look tasty. So I got to figure out how that one's getting out, and I'm wondering if they're jumping from one of these bushes. chickens. You guys having a staff meeting? I wasn't invited to? Don't touch it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Dino. He knows better. Look at this. What are they called? The red things? Waddles. His waddles are bright red. You know what? All the other chickens' waddles are pretty bright red too. And that they say that's a sign that eggs are coming as well, they start to get more red. Hmm. Especially this guy, his, his waddles are really red. Red waddles. Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> so we were really surprised that all of this went up in what, like two and a half days? It was like Friday morning, uh, they, they essentially started and then Saturday afternoon they were done framing. One of the big differences I feel like about building at this time, I'm not quite sure if it's because we've lived on this land off grid, we've been here for just about a year, or the fact that we designed this house, um, but it's just been really cool to see it all come to life. Hmm. Yeah. So we're super grateful for, you know, obviously just being blessed, being able to do this for this land. Um, and just thank you everyone who has subscribed, um, who has been following us for us, uh, as we grow this channel. And our goal is to have a video just about every week with all of our construction updates, so. Yeah, so thanks for following along on this adventure. Um, and next time we post, hopefully we'll have, maybe it's the second floor. Maybe a second floor, through. yeah. Um, oh, it's supposed to rain all week, so is. we may be delayed. Um, but uh, we were on vacation last week, so sorry for missing a week here. Thank you again for everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time.
Hey, Pen. Are you stuck in the moat? Are you stuck in the moat? Uh-oh. Are you stuck down there? 